What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel. I am Gold Pony and today we are in the new 2019 Alfa Romeo 4C Spider, possibly the last year for the 4C. So I am happy to bring this one to you guys today, courtesy of Faulkner Alfa Romeo in Mechanicsburg, PA. This thing I can already tell is going to be a blast. So as always, let's jump right into it and let's start with pricing. And so when it comes to pricing, I did want to first mention for the 2019 4C, the coupe has been discontinued. There is only the 4C Spider remaining, which will start at $66,900. When it comes to the power plant on the 4C, powering this little beast is a transverse mounted mid-engine setup 1.7 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder to be exact putting out 237 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 258 pound-feet of torque available at 2200 rpm red line comes in at 6500 rpm power is going to be sent to the rear wheels through a six-speed automatic twin clutch transmission with paddle shifters which you guys know I have been playing around with like crazy they are instantaneous <laughs> But overall, zero to 60 time comes in at approximately four seconds flat, which you guys might be surprised with considering the horsepower numbers, but this thing is freaking light. Coming in at only 2,487 pounds, partly due in fact because it does have a carbon fiber chassis, which is stronger and lighter than steel. And overall top speed comes in at 160 miles per hour, giving you MPG numbers, 24 in the city, 34 on the highway. But so then before we do any kind of accelerations, I did want to mention there is a DNA drive mode selector and that's going to be located just behind the gear select buttons but what DNA actually stands for is dynamic natural and all weather modes and essentially what they will do is adjust things like the throttle response the shift points the braking operation and of course turning off traction control as well to sum it up dynamic is the fun one natural is the cruising mode and all weather is going to be for your slippery surfaces like rain for instance all right so I have already played around with the paddle shifters I think you guys know what time it is at this point let's do a quick little acceleration test in the 4C and let's see if this thing really feels like 0 to 60 in 4 seconds flat. <laughs> Gosh, it's a go-kart. It's a freaking fastest go-kart in the world. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> you can feel it in the pit of your stomach. This is Alfa Romeo at its finest. You gotta... <laughs> But anywho, to go along with that insane acceleration, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12 inch ventilated front disc with four piston front calipers. In the back, 11.5 inch ventilated rear disc with two piston rear calipers. And as far as the braking fuel goes, it's felt perfectly fine to me so far today. So no issues there. Touching on handling and suspension a little bit. Up front, you're gonna get a double wishbone front suspension with an anti-roll bar. In the back, a McPherson strut rear suspension. And in my short drive today, I got to say the first thing I noticed and the first thing I loved about this 4C is how freakishly low to the ground it is. You feel connected with the road. This is definitely a back road warrior, so I am glad I found some nice back roads here today. But handling honestly feels great. I gotta be honest. And the steering feel is definitely weighted. I would say it's even heavier than my Ford Mustang GT. One of the heaviest steering feels I have felt in quite a while, to be quite honest. So definitely enjoying this back road drive here. And I don't think I'm even gonna mention cabin noise because this is a spider. We don't we don't really have a top right now, but you gotta love the engine sound. This is a mid-engine car. The engine is right behind me here. So when I downshift, you can definitely hear it. Then touching on visibility a little bit, honestly, I can see fine out the back. You do kind of have a small rear window back there, to be honest, but it is a smaller car at the same time. So really, I wouldn't see any issues with visibility. It's something that you get used to. And the side mirrors, of course, are gonna help you out as well. You can see a lot better out of them. Overall, this is just a flat out fun car to drive, without a doubt. But I keep touching on all the performance and handling characteristics because that is really what makes the 4C an amazing car. But there, of course, is so much more to that. So let me touch a little bit on the interior that is absolutely loaded with carbon fiber and the exterior as well. So let's make our way around to the front of the vehicle here. And so to start up front, of course, you have that Alfa Romeo signature front grille to the sides by Xenon HID headlights. When it comes to the color choices on the 4C, there are two standard color choices being either black or white. If you wanted to go with one of the other color options, they basically range from $700 to $1,500. 
then make your way to the side. You will find a carbon fiber side vent, also additional ventilation near the back. And there's carbon fiber side mirrors that you're looking at right now. They are an available option. They go for an additional $800 there if you were interested. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. All wheel setups for the 4C will come with a staggered fitment, meaning the back wheels will be slightly wider than the front wheels. But standard wheel setup is going to include 17 by 7 inches up front, 18 by 8 inches in the back. And of course, there's plenty of 18 inches up front, 19 inches in the back wheel setups available as well. Then make your way to the back on this one. Integrated rear brake light will come standard. Also got to appreciate this simplistic design of the rear taillights there. And just below all of that, an amazing looking rear diffuser with dual exhaust outlets front and center with chrome tips. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. But at this point in the video, I typically open the rear trunk. However, with this being a mid-engine car, the engine is in the back, so you do have a frunk on the 4C, meaning a front trunk. And of course, it goes without saying there are no rear seats in the 4C. This is a two-seater. When it comes to those front seats, you will find a leather finish. And there's actually a bunch of different color options available for this one, including black, red, and tobacco brown. But you gotta love the red interior that we have on this one today. I love it. Let's take a look up front at the steering wheel. It is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel with a flat bottom and it will come leather wrapped and if you wanted a microfiber steering wheel that is going to be a 250 dollars option there but so now let's touch on the startup here let me first start by showing you guys the key here this is a pretty sweet key you do of course have lock unlock but that alfa romeo button on the very top of the key fob there that is actually going to be your switchblade key button so simply press that and the key is going to pop out there for you and that's essentially how you're going to start the 4c all you need to do is simply put your phone on the brake and turn the key but so the once started up there is a full digital gear set up front and center giving you your tachometer a digital speedometer within that what gear you're actually in and of course the different driving modes available as well and you got to appreciate surrounding that gauge setup is a carbon fiber finish that's one of the first things i noticed carbon fiber continues i'll get more into that but i do love the carbon fiber surrounds around those gauges for sure and also on that gauge setup that is where you're now going to be able to find the rear view camera which is now standard for 2019 models but let's take a look at overall interior quality i keep mentioning the carbon fiber trim of course you have it around the gauges you also have it around all air vents so that is definitely nice also you got to find carbon fiber trim with the four c insignia just above the passenger side and then just below the doors as well you are completely surrounded by carbon fiber not to mention the drive mode selectors as well that's completely surrounded with carbon fiber so if you are the type that is into carbon fiber look no further than the four c overall though there's not a ton of creature comforts after all the four c is more of a driver's car you do have a couple cup holders just in between the seats there but other than that you're not going to find any around the gear select buttons but honestly for a two-seater two cup holders are probably going to be enough anyways a couple other unique features about the interior though that i wanted to mention is the power window buttons are actually located in the center here behind the gear select button so that is how you're going to put the windows up and down kind of in the center the buttons are not actually on the doors i found that pretty cool and just in front of those window buttons there's actually the button to adjust the side mirror so if you turn that to the left and the right you can adjust your side mirrors and again that is not found on on the door so i found that pretty cool but so front and center you will find an alpine head unit with an alpine sound system that will come with the 4c here so what do you say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one Actually, not that bad of a sound system. There's actually a pretty large Alpine speaker right behind me, right in between the driver and passenger seat. So really quite a bit of loudness, really more than enough of a sound system for a very small car like the 4C Spider. But so then touching on safety a little bit, there are rear parking sensors, which are now standard for the 2019 model 4C. Also dual front airbags, an overhead airbag, and a driver's knee airbag as well. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like that video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. It's your eyes like a big pizza pie that's more. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine that's more.